YouTube friends, it's time for a special episode. It's also Flossmas Day 30 and a whip parade, a whip parade. Oh yeah, oh yeah, a whip parade part two. So thank you so much for joining me. I am Annie Joyfield Stitcher, both here on FlossTube YouTube and over on Instagram. So check me out over there as well. This is your first time joining me. Welcome. This is part two of my whip parade. This is my more recent uh, projects. If you uh, did not have a chance to check out yet whip parade part one, you can go over and watch that. You don't have to have watched that to watch this, but it gives some context as to where we are in terms of projects here. Um, and if you are returning and have watched me once, twice, 80 something times, welcome back. And I hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday today. Um, I have projects to show you. More whips to show you. Um, I said I'd have a total. I don't know that I have a total. I don't think I counted that. I think that's the thing I neglected to do. So if I happen to do this in more than one clip, I'll get you a total. Or I'll tell you that tomorrow. So, um, we are starting with July projects, July of this year. I did Jolly Joy Filled Whip UI, and so I worked on whips, but I also had new starts. So, if I didn't have a Christmas whip on the day, I spun a wheel and let it pick a new start project. So, let's see. What else? Um, if this is your first time joining me, um, like I said, I'm Annie. I have been an off and on stitcher since I was 16. I turned 40 this year. So doing the math on that, that is just over two decades of stitching. Um, I've taken hiatuses. I came back to it full force in late 2018. And I started my floss tube journey with floss tube number one back in May of 2019. So I'm about a year and a half-ish in, a little over a year and a half-ish in. This is my first time doing a Flossmas, and I know a lot of folks stopped on Christmas Eve. I decided to go ahead and finish out December with Flossmas, and that is including some of these other special videos, aka Whip Parades. Um, I have a lot of whips, so I decided to split it into two videos for your viewing enjoyment. They will both be completely ad-free. Um, I demonetized um, back towards the end of October, I believe. Um, due in large part to the folks who buy me a fancy floss. Um, there is a link in the description box below if you feel so inclined. It's a buy me a coffee link, but I changed mine to buy me a fancy floss because I don't drink coffee anymore. I have something on my glasses, so let me correct that. I don't look quite right without them, so I don't, I can't really, I'm a little blurry for one, and for two, I don't look like myself. Um, I'm back, so I think we should get started because we'll see, but this is going to be a long end. I am going to show you, I'm starting something today. I'm very excited. It is a full coverage piece from Heaven and Earth Designs. This is Quick Stitch Hazel World, Hazel's World Giraffe. And it is small in terms of Heaven and Earth Design. It's 118 by 207. So it is not very large at all. I have me some 25 count um, Easy Grid Lugana. I do not need this much, but I have not cut it down yet. I made myself some floss cards. And so I need to fill those. And then I've got all the floss. So I'm going to make myself some floss cards when I'm done doing all of this and organizing. And then I'm going to start. I will also say there were, oh, thank you so much for all the kind comments on yesterday's uh, whip parade. I really appreciate it. Um, I do, I will briefly apologize for the enablement. But know that it's a mutual thing because many of you that I watch your videos... I'm enabled by you. Um, so I will say that there were a couple of questions that I'll address. One, there was a question about what colors are in, um, and am I using an in Ink Circles Rosetta? I did list those out in reply to that comment. So if you're interested in all of that, go check out the comments on yesterday's video. The other question I think two or so people asked me is how do I have them organized? Um, so I have two Billy bookshelves in a kind of a corner 
of my master bedroom. Our master bedroom is long and narrow. And so we've got, you know, like sleeping area over here and then over here are two dressers. And then in the corner, there's this empty space. And I bought two Billy Book shelves, one wide one and one narrow one to fill that space. And that's where I have my whips. Up until this whip parade, they were just in buckets. There was no rhyme or reason. I do have one whole shelf that has all of my book sleeve kind of style pouches on. That is going to expand. After this, I have a whole stack of bags that need to have projects re-acquisitioned, -ac redistributed into. And so once I do that, I will put everything back up on the shelves. And I, I think what I'm going to do is number my bins. Um, the, the ones that are not on the shelf, the ones that are in bins, I'm going to number the bins. And then in my whip list, I'll put what bin it lives in. And I think that's what's going to help me because I can't really do it chronologically because I have different types of storage solutions in different types of places. And also, um, I can't do it alphabetically because, no, I'd much rather do it by color or by size of bag. That's kind of how I more have it done or type of bag. But anywho, that's, that's where I am right now. Currently disorganized is my organizational style. Um, I did work all day yesterday, like literally from after filming my video and putting everything away. I think from about noon until six, I worked in my craft room. It's nearly completely done. I will maybe do an updated craft room tour. However, when we went to Ikea, I bought a bunch more of my favorite clear bins, but they had no lids. So they're currently like stacked and it doesn't look nice. So I will do one when all is said and done. I apologize. I just finished my uh, morning protein shake and I'm a little bubbly. Um, it is 10 o'clock my time here in Texas. So I started this. So the first project of today is a Teresa Kogut. This is Joyful Scene. I started this on July 3rd of 2020. Everything that you see today is a 2020 start. So no shame. There's no shame in the amount of projects I started in 2020 because it was a lot. Um, anywho, but somebody made a really sweet, kind comment that put things in perspective that I don't have that many that carried over from 2019. So that means I did a lot of stitching because that is the truth. If you watch my very first whip parade, you'll see I did that one right after I started filming in May. I did a whip parade at the end of last year. A lot of those projects did not carry over. So success in that. There's a positive. Anywho, I am stitching this without the Santa. I re, um, I kind of redistributed some of these penny rug detailings and things because I loved this, obviously, Joy. I have lots of projects with Joy. And so I am stitching this on a 28 count Lugana in granite from Be Stitch Me. I have actually a fairly decent start. So I have the sheep and part of that bird. And so I had at one point thought I was going to abandon this, but now I've seen it again and I'm like, nope, I like it. I love Teresa Kogut stuff. So good. I love that it's all based off, most of it is based off of her artwork. I love that. All right, so then I have um, this project that I started on July 4th. Um, this is in a Love You More Studio Co. sleeve. There, more of these projects are in bags um, than yesterday's. This is Cranberry Christmas from Hands On Design. I am stitching this one. And one of my awesome floss tube friends, when I said, mm, I wanted to say something different, suggested seeing if Joy Filled would fit. It did. So I recharted it. I am stitching it in the called for sulky pack. And I'm loving. I love the sulky. And this is on an 18 count. I was looking to see if I had the information. 18 count tombstone from Keller and Cotton. This was part of um, the Harvest Mystery Box. And so I have part of, I have Ristimus and filled. So a filled Ristimus. And, um, I love it. So this is the one strand of Sulky. 
over one square. And what's kind of cool about this is the white shows up very nicely. I do like it on this fabric, um, but it's got a shadow of the light green. So it will definitely show up quite well. I love that one. So far I've not abandoned too many. All right, this project was started on July 4th as well. Um, this is Teresa Kogut's Land That I Love. And this is a huge, massive sampler. And I will not lie to you when I say this is a question mark. This is on a 20 count Ada from Dying, Dying for Cross Stitch, Kathy Davidson. And that is all I have. So, yeah, I think this one is going to end up being a UFO. I have not touched this since like the second time I stitched it. I just, I'm not a big sampler stitcher. I'm just not. But I'm going to put it over here on this side to think about. It needs to think about it. All right, this one is one that I already know is going to get a slight change up. So this is in one of those Amazon little fabric envelope things that I showed way back when. And I started this on July 5th. This is um, Opal by Carol, Carolyn Manning. And this is this from the Shooting Star Collection. I um, had started the large one. This is a full coverage. So this will work with full coverage fanatic challenges. I am going to swap out. Um, I love the colors. Opal is my birthstone. I'm going to do, I believe it's this one. My printout is not great. But this one looks the most like a quilt pattern. And to me, I love that because I am a quilter as well. Um, so I will show you what I've started on this, on the large one. This is on a 32 count Jobelin from Be Stitch Me in Through the Stones. And I have, I did a center start on this. And this is two over two. And Joyfield Little One is on the other side of the camera showing me her big Squishmallow she got for Christmas from Costco. No, that came from Santa, right? Okay. Santa shops at Costco. Um, because he likes the deals. And it's a giant octopus squishmallow. And it's like these exact colors. It's these exact colors. And its name is Opal. So anyway, I'm going to restart um, the small one. I might be able to fit it on this, this piece. Because it's a pretty large piece. I don't know. I'm going to see. And if that's the case, then I won't even consider it a restart. Um... But I believe her charts work in Pattern Keeper, which is awesome. So I have that slotted to um, use, I think, for my for the January bingo in full uh, full coverage fanatics. It's a group on Facebook. All right. So then I have a project that I started on July 10th. I think I might have said January on one of those. July 10th. We're still in July. And um, this is a stitch along that was available through Creative Poppy. It's Barbara Anna Designs. I know Mama Loves You GB just finished this not too long ago. This is Santa's Trips. Um, and it's an awesome nine part stitch along. All the parts are out. And I think I read somewhere possibly that it was going to go away. I don't know that. So if you're interested, Creative Poppy look under Barbara Anna, and it's the Santa's trips out. This has had more work since the last time I showed it. Oh, I must show you my joy bag. This is another one from Mandy that she made and sent to me. It's gorgeous. Like, this is insanely gorgeous. I love my joy bags. And this is on 18 count to be stitch me. I believe it's in Coffee Club, which was the fabric of the month. And I am still trucking along on square number one. But it does have more progress since the last time I showed it. I filled in the, the detailing in the snow and did some of the houses and did the tree and the little ornaments. So this is such a fun stitch. I love it. Um, she had another sow that I did buy. I don't think I've downloaded all the parts. I need to go do that. That's like a Christmas cake. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll own all the Barbara Anna. All right, on the 13th, I started a project that lives in this Love You More Studio Co-Sleep. I love this one. It's so cool. Look at how pretty that is. 
I love the symmetry. Oh my gosh, it's so good. This is um, Christmas time sewing roll. This is from Pineberry Lane. This was a quaint country ladies kit. I believe this is now currently available as a chart um, on their website. I think so. I think I've seen it. But I love it because it's St. Lucia. And I've told the story before that I dressed up as St. Lucia in fourth grade for a Christmas around the world. Um, it came with the finishing materials to make it into the sewing roll. It came with the beautiful fancy flosses. And I think I'm doing this on the fabric that it came with, which is a linen of some kind. Let's see. I think this is 36 count R&R Winter's Brew. And I believe I'm using one or two strands, I'm not sure. So I'm working on this flower. Now I will say, I don't know that I'm gonna finish it into the sewing roll. roll. And um, I love the snowflake motifs. So I'm contemplating not stitching the vining and moving the snowflake in and then not stitching the other outer things. I don't know, we'll see. I'm, I'm far from that because I've only done the flower or some of the flower. It's not even all finished. So, oh, and I am using one strand. I just looked because I, um, I have some still on the back. And I keep all the materials in here so it does not get lost. I'm going to pause for just a second because Mr. Joyfield is uh, needing my attention. I'll be right back. All righty, I'm back. Um, I went and made some hot chocolate. I got a really cool thing. It is a milk warmer frother thing. It's a standalone, so you don't have to have like, some people have like really cool like Nespresso's and Ninja's and things like that. But this is just a little stand uh, standalone unit. And so I made some hot chocolate for them. All right, so next up, I started on... July 15th. This was actually, I think, a restart because I didn't like the original fabric. This is Plum Street Sampler's Rack Stack. Um, I love the stacks. I have two of them. I have another one that you'll see here shortly. God bless you. Thank you. Um, and this is on 18 Count Fathom from Picture This Plus. So I have part of that centermost deer. I have not pulled this out since I started it. I need to. I love this. I love the, my other one is Gobble Gob. You'll see that one shortly. All right, next up, I started on the 16th of July. This lives in a Love You More Studio Co. Sleeve. This used to have two projects. That's why this is all in a baggie. Um, that's not what I need. I want to show you the picture. This is a Christmas Alphabet by Cecilia Turner. This is, um, I got this from a group on Facebook called Candy Cane Stitchers. And they post lots of different freebies in there. And this was one of those freebies. This is on 28 count crystal Wren from Picture This Plus. And I literally could finish this in one sitting. Um, and I am stitching the J, the O, which is right here, and the Y in red. And then I have the motifs. I think literally that's what I have left to do. Somebody said that they, I think it was Tanya, said that she was shouting. She said, can you hear me shouting at your video? Um, this was in an instant message. Can you hear me shouting at your video? You can finish that, like right now. Um, and I said, I know it does not make any sense. But sometimes I just love a project so much I don't want it to end. That's the truth. All right, next up, I started this on the 25th of July. This is She Believes She Could, so she did. This is a chart from Teresa Kogut uh, in her Etsy. It's a, it's a PDF-only chart. Uh, I believe this was one of the ones that she did as a support for brick-and-mortar stores. I think if you still purchase it through the end of the year, which is not too many days, that a portion of it goes to the two different brick-and-mortars. Um this is on 27 Count Linda from Be Stitch Me in a Mystery Die. And this is what I have so far. 
and I this is for a uh, joy filled little one and so she picked some of the different colors so instead of a black dress we did this dark blue which is color and cotton winter sea she changed this this is color and cotton rain washed there's a light pink in here so yeah this one's super fun to stitch I love the 27 count Linda um, it reminds me a lot of Monaco, and I know Monaco's getting harder and harder to come by. So that's a good hot tip. All right, next up I have, and so he came, which is a freebie. I have a better, uh, better is questionable. This was when my printer was out of, running out of certain colors of ink. Long Lay the World, and so he came. This is, um, I think it's titled, and so he came. This is a Plum Street sampler freebie from her blog. So if you head over to the Plum Street blog, you can find that plus a lot of other really awesome charts. This is in a Bendy Flip Bags Plus, little floss buddy. And this is on 28 count um, Lugana from Seraphim in Old Stationery. So I got some more. I got the other color put in the trees and I did a couple of the tree trunks the last time I pulled this out. This is another one. This is one where I love that she's just like, you need a brown, you need a white or a cream, you need a two greens, you need two reds. Like it just basically says, this is what you need and you pull your own colors. And so that's what I did. And you'll see I've got Color and Cotton Classic Color Works and maybe just DMC. Yeah, and then just DMC. Yep, that's my palette. I did swap in a kind of a more rosy brown purple I don't know red for one of them all right next up I started this one on the 27th of July this year this is the trilogy's nativity lineup this one has not had much work done on it it has fiddly color changes fiddly fiddly color color changes this is on 27 count Linda from be stitch me and outback jack and I have an okay amount done on it. And so that's that center most line of the lineup. You'll notice I have a lot of nativities. It's because I love all the nativities. Um, stitch all the nativities. This is the first of several that you will see. All right, next up on the, where's my tag for this one? This one's in a new Love You More pouch, so I have not had a chance to hang my tag. This was started on the 28th of July. This is Bent Creek's Nativity Row. And I just had this out not too long ago to work on. He was part of Whip Wranglers. So I think I've shown this just within the last couple of weeks. So I put in some more in the letters. I did go ahead and rip out. These two were in the wrong color. So I pulled them out and restitched them in the correct color. And then I put in the top of the nativity, put in this letter right here and this letter right here. So, and this is on 18 count colonnade from Color and Cotton. This is pretty, I love this sleeve. It's foiling looked and that you know it's got believe heavenly holy rejoice merry christmas angels love that love it love it all right and then i realized um i have two projects that were not back to back in this bag this is an in hand stitcher size bag from diddly daddle designs um it actually has two of my projects the first of which was actually a start on the 22nd so we are kind of a little out of chronological order here but that's okay and this is from Heart and Hand. <laughs> it's another nativity. This is Double Up Nativity, which I love. And this is on an 18 count mystery cut from Be Stitch Me. And I have the outline and the fill in of one of the squares. So it's not a very big stitch, it's rather small. There's another nativity for you. And then. The other one that is in here is from Lizzie Kate, and I started this one on the 29th of July. This is Wiseman Still Seek Him, so another kind of a nativity. 
This is on 32 count shale Lugana and pretty much the called for fancy flosses. I kitted this one a long time ago at my LNS. This one is so close to a finish. Um, as far as I can tell, I have like the angel's trumpet and wing and the crowns at the bottom. So super fun. I have way too much margin on this. I have started to now go with um, not three inches of margin. I go with like two on each side. Um, all right, so we're nearly done with July. So on July 30th, I started this project that lives in this pouch from Love You More Studio Co. Co. Um, joy, hope, joy, hope, peace. And this is from Doreen Jones. This was in the ultimate, ultimate cross stitch Christmas issue, I think. And this is Joy. She at one time had this in her Etsy shop and then I have not seen it since. Um, I did not buy it from the Etsy shop. And this is on a piece of 18 count Monaco from Oksana. She is a, a dyer. Oh, I forgot what I was doing this in. That's sad. Um, that I find on stash unloading cross stitch only. And I am stitching it monochromatically in color and cotton dahlia. I forgot what I had done. Oh, so good. So very different than what it started as. But as you can see, I have part of the O joy. So yeah. I need to get this one back out. And since it's on the 28 count, it will be, uh, you know, a bit larger. She did a hoop finish. I think I might do a pillow finish or a like banner finish. I don't know. We'll see. And then on the 31st of July, I started another Dream Jones. This was also from the Ultimate Cross Stitch Christmas, I think. And this is part of a series of uh, red work pieces, black work, red work. Called Seasons Greetings, and this is the one that I'm doing right here. I have this on 28 count Monaco, and I am using Apple Red from Victorian Motto, which is comparable to 815. And this is what I have so far. So, yeah, um, it looks like I am doing two strands for the cross stitch and one strand for the back stitching. So, or the black work. So that was another fun start. I love that. That'll make a really pretty ornament or something like that. So that is the end of July. And I've got a bit of a collapsing problem here. So now we're into August. August slash September. I did not start much in August. This is in a Love You More Studio Co. sleeve with a cute little squirrel on it. This is so close to a finish. I was just thinking about this, that I need to get it finished. This was a Be Well and Stitch from Hands on Design freebie. Um, choose Happy Be Well. I am not going to stitch the Be Well part. And this is on, what is this on? Hand Dyed by Stephanie Lugana, 32 count in French blue. And that's why. So I went with, I think the called for or close. Um, I, Erin at Two Martini Stitcher stitched this and did it in really super bright colors. So I think I'm gonna stitch it again cause I have more than enough fabric and I'm gonna do it in different colors and put one at home and one in my classroom. So that one I'm actually gonna put out is something I can work on. All right, on, I restarted this one actually on August 11th. I had started this, I think, on Thanksgiving in 2019. This is in a Diana bag. It is Kismet Stitches. This is her half size, which I love. And this holds my other stack. I have two other stacks in kitted stuff. I have Henpeck and She Peep, but I'm not going to start them until I get these two finished. And this is Gobble Gob. And um, I did a restart on this because I didn't love it on the fabric I had chosen. This is on, and I'm not really sure about this actually now that I see it. This is an 18 count mystery from Mystic Fabrics. So a really pretty rose color. So I'm gonna have to, now that I'm looking at this, I'm not 
they're not standing out to me as much. So we'll see. We'll assess on this one. I think sometimes I just restart and restart and the ultimate verdict is that the project's just not for me. Um, okay, this is a project I, I started on August 1st, but I decided to tweak the pattern and then I restarted it on August 16th and I think it's not going to get stitched. This is Long Dog Sampler's Pandemic. Um, this was the freebie that she did in for a week in June. Um, I got it when it was free. This is on a very large cut of 18 count Ada in Outback Jack. And I am stitching it in two colors of color and cotton. I've got sapphire for the majority of it and then typewriter for the other. So black and blue. This was my initial start. And then I realized I really wanted to kind of chop it to where Kind of like to right here, I believe, is where I wanted to chop it to. Because this is the most visually interesting to me. Um, so I restarted it here. Now, this was before I got my new tablet. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep going on it. And I'm going to put it in Pattern Keeper and, Keeper and mark my progress. And see if that speeds things up some. Because now that I'm seeing it, I really do love that color um, on that fabric. So we'll see. I have some other long dogs going. So yeah. All right. And then I think I had one more. Nope. That was all the starts in August. So August was a very nice non-starty like month. Um, so then we're getting into September. September and October through the 13th were start all the things. <laughs> So on the 1st of September, I started this project that lives in this Love You More Studio Co pouch with this fantastic unicorn. And this is just a snippet, but this is Tree of Magic. Um, I am styling this with Erin G. Martini Stitcher and Amy Baruch. Um, this is a Barbara Anna Designs kitted by Nick Moscow. I swapped out the kit fabric here are all of the kit flosses, so super bright and fun. Already stranded, DMC. I swapped it out from the linen to an 18 count Ada from Keller and Cotton in Caraway. So this is where I am on Tree of Magic. I love this one. I love it. The problem is I love all my projects and I love all the things that are in my stash too. There's just enough time. Then on the second, I started Grateful, which is from Cherry Hill Stitchery. This is on 20 count Ada in Petite Point. And that is what I have so far. A piece of toast and a polka dotty pumpkin. So, I need to get some more time in that. And this one it is in, like, I only had a very small little scrap of this Tula Pink with the cute little chipmunk. And so, I made, I only had these two little small scraps. So, I have a very long skinny bag. But it works perfectly for this small project. Alright, on September 3rd, I started this. It lives in this really beautiful... Uh, patchwork Liberty of London bag that I got from Shirley who sells on uh, stash and loading and this holds I'm looking to see if I have a full picture other than the card I don't so I will show you I don't have a complete but this is positivity rules this was a sal um, earlier in the year uh, at this point when I started it I think three parts had been released all of it's been released now and it's from caterpillar cross stitch I purchased it as a kit and I am stitching it on a 28 count uh, blush Lugana. They're playing Monopoly. I don't know if you, you probably can't hear that, but I can because it travels through the vents. Um, they are playing Monopoly Junior Unicorn Edition and unfortunately Mr. Joyful keeps winning. And he's like, I win again. 
So this is what I have so far. Um, I have the matching needle minder, best needle minders, some of the absolute best needle minders. So I put it, I filled in this side of the heart and I started working on one of the windows. So this one's super fun. When it's finished, it will go in my classroom. So there's that one. Sorry, I'm feeling very distracted. Um, could be there's like gameplay going on. All right, next up, I started this on September 4th. This is from the 2020 Christmas ornament issue of Just Cross Stitch magazine. This is from Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery and it's called Sealed with a Snowflake. So cute. And I have this on a piece of, did I write it down? Of course, I probably didn't. I think this is a mystery 18 count Ada from Mystic Fabrics. So we have our little seal. We have some of the snowflake going. Super cute. Stitch. So yeah. You know, I had a thought about pushing towards finishes on some of these smaller projects towards the end of this year, but then I thought, oh, but then all I'll have is medium to big projects left. So I think that having smaller ones going is, is good. All right, next up on the 6th, I started, this one was from the 2020 Just Cross Stitch Christmas Ornament Issue. This is St. Lucy's Light. It's from The Little Stitcher. I love her. And this is on a, I think this is a 20 count. 20 count vintage country mocha. This is in a um, bags plus bendy flip. A really pretty like it's got foiling. And then there are my colors. I decided to swap out the metallic for DMC Itchwall. So ooh, you can see the sparkly. So she doesn't have a ton left. And the DMC Itchwall that I chose was C972. So there's that. She's so cute. So basically I've got all this white I can fill in. Um, and then it's got, you know, her hair, her facial features, the crown. Um, I don't know. I probably will stitch the two border elements, the top and bottom. Anyway, that's a fun little ornament I have going. I didn't start all big things. This is another small one. This one I started on September 7th. This is the Love Bug. This is Ink Circles. It's one of their Patreon exclusives. This was from April 2020. And I believe I'm stitching it with the Called For DMC or Very Close. And this is in a very small Garon tote bag. This was the original mini bag size of a 5x6. And you can fit a project in one. Um, this is on 18 count Barnwood from Picture This Plus. And I am doing the outline and then fill in method. So I've got some of the outline done. Yay. And I know a lot, I don't think these, but I know a lot of Tracy's um, charts work with Pattern Keeper. All right, next up on the 8th of September, I started this chart from Cherrywood Design Studio. This is the gift. Um, or gift. It's the first in the dictionary celebration series. I wish I could find more of these, but I have not seen them anywhere. Um, and this is on 18 count fog from picture this plus and I have good and perf and I am stitching this. The dark parts will be in amethyst from gentle arts and then the light bits will be in a prim or Heavenly Rose from Victoria Motto. This was from April 2019. That's how long I had a subscription before I didn't. No comment. So, there's that. But I wish I could find some more of these. I think EJ has a bunch of the Sunshine Stitchers. All right, next up on the ninth. I started another Caterpillar cross stitch. Lives in this awesome full size Love You More Studio Co sleeve. This is Hello Pumpkin. So this is Hello Pumpkin when it's finished. And I have this going on that 
32 count barn board check Lugana that I have um, Wizard of Oz going on I showed yesterday and so I do not have very much on this but I love the fabric and um, my needle minder is that is the official one the hello one hello pumpkin one as you can see I have a, a very quick love of all things caterpillar cross stitch because I have positivity rules I have hello pumpkin hello dear is going to be in here and then I've got one to start at the end of January yay all right so next up on the 10th I started oops sorry poor and needy which is from Lindy Stitches as for me I am poor and needy but the Lord takes thought for me this is on 16 count mystery die from Be Stitch Me. One minute, please. Alrighty, I'm back. So this is not going to be a one take kind of a situation. I was showing you, as for me, um, the poor and needy chart from Lindy Stitches. And this is on 16 count, just a mystery die from Be Stitch Me. And I have a bit of the side motif. I am stitching this with uh, stuff from Stash that's close to the called for. I don't think there might be one or two that's the called for, but not, not enough to write home about. All right, next up on the 11th, I started the Christmas, what is it called? What is the official name? Home for Christmas Sow from Fuzzy Fox Designs. It is, it was a 16 part, excuse me, stitch along, um, this was after release five. So all different types of cute houses. I have this going on 20 count Ada and Vintage Country Mocha. I did pull colors from Stash. So mine are going to be tiny. And here is what I have. <laughs> Part of a one house. Um, so I just need to get back to this. This, this would be good lunchtime stitching. Um, I'm not stitching them all because as they've all been released, I know there's some that I'm not like as fond of as others, but I'm excited about the beehive one. There's, I'm excited about a lot of them. Um, okay, two more in this bin and then we're going to reassess. All right, then on the 12th, I started Autumn Owl Etching from Cecilia Turner of Heart and Hand Designs. This is the um, chart that was part of her series she did this year in Punch Needle Primitive Stitcher Magazine. This was the autumn one, so the autumn 2020 issue. Um, I love it. I think I'm stitching it in close to the called for because um, I think I had them or something very close. And this is on, what is this on? I think this is a piece, it is an 18 count Veteris from Mystic Fabrics. So it's a more green Veteris. And that's what I have so far. So the outline of one of the owls and the top. This is not a big stitch. I could have already had it finished, but you know, I've started more things. I love that they're so into the Monopoly Junior <laughs> Unicorn Edition. Um, all right, next up, I started this on September 13th. This is Tiny Modernist Cabin in the Woods. This was an ornament from the February 2020 issue. So super cute stitch. Love it. And this is on a piece of, piece of what? Piece of some gray Ada from who? See, the problem is I had, I have just some random cuts. I know they're counts. I don't know where they're from. But this is an 18 count gray. I want to say it's Be Stitch Me Mystery. Because I can usually tell by the t how it feels. So, um, we've got a bit of the house. And it will show up because there's a lot of detailing around it. Um, it is a gray house stitched on gray for them. So, all right. Now, we are continuing on. Where do we start with this one? Let's see. Nine. I think we start on this side. Yep. All right. Moving on. We are still in September. Start all things. This is in a pouch I sewed with some really fun Tula fabric. Somebody had asked if I ever considered selling my project bags. I don't need a third career. Hold on just a second. Yes, ma'am? Daddy sees these twice. We played Monopoly Junior Unicorn Edition twice. 
And he beat you twice? Yeah. Oh, goodness. Have you won it all? No. no. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yep. Yeah, all right. I'm still, I'm still recording. Oh. I'm winner, still recording. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> Okay, bye. Bye. Uh, okay. All righty. This is Tudor Roseberry, an English sampler berry. This was from the All About Berries Club. I bought this off a of stash unloading. I have this going on a piece of what? A piece of something. Let's see. Aha, I have it. 32 count tarnished silver linen from Lakeside. And I have the start of the middle rose, Tudor Rose. This was one I bought and it had the um, chart, the finishing materials and the flosses. It did not have the original linen, which is fine. Um, I pulled some from Stash and somebody said, wait a minute. I thought you were in a comment. I thought you were only an Ada, 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 an Ada stitcher, an Ada stitcher. No, no, no. I love Ada. Ada is like the majority of my projects. But at a time, I did start some things on linen, and I still like them on the linen. I love even weave. Even weave is almost a necessity for some projects, especially if they have fractionals or you know you're doing skin, like things like that. And so, yeah, I'm multifaceted. All right, next up. This lives in a pouch that I got in my fall for stitching box from Black Needle Society. And this holds my Quirky Quaker series. So the only one that started in here is the Quirky Quaker Hedgehog from Darling and Whimsy Designs. I do have the bat and I do have the reindeer. Um, I think those are the only ones that have been released so far. And um, so yeah, when I finish this one, I will start another one. And I am stitching this one in Sulky. This is a Blendables, and it is number 4006. So 712, I don't think that'll focus, 4006. Anyway, this is what it looks like. So really pretty. And this is on 18 count earthen from Picture This Plus. And I basically have the hedgehog. Isn't that fun? That floss is so fun. I love it. So there's not much left of that when I finished the puffin not too long ago. Um, so yeah, another small to have. I have the stuff pulled for the bat. The bat I'm going to do on this piece of slate, Ada, with the super funky floss from Week Style Works called Sugar Plum. That's going to be the bat. Yay! Alrighty, next up, I started Posy Go Round by Ink Circles on September 16th. This was Patreon exclusive number two from May 2020. And she said, pick your own colors. So I chose to put this on that same slate, 16 count slate. And I am using some colors of color and cotton. I, I don't believe I've decided yet. I think I have this marked. So the flower color is Hollyberry from Color and Cotton. The leaf is Color and Cotton Primitive Vines. So pretty. And then I don't know if the outside doily will be in Mycelium or Emerald City. I have not decided that yet. So I kind of would love to use all four. I don't know how to make that happen. We'll see. Um, cause it's kind of a small and this is what I have so far. So this will be a super fun little ornament. And this is in another one of those teeny tiny little Garon bags. It'll fit a quarter size chart. This is in my small little Downton Abbey bag. This is a five by six bag. They don't do those anymore, but if you have them, they work for projects. All right, on the 17th, I started Ink Circles. We got an Ink Circles run here. Um, arranging tools. Uh, the 17th marked uh, 10 years since I the day I met my husband in person. We met on the internet. 
um, first. And I am stitching it in some of the called for and then some I pulled from Stash Like. I didn't have enough of the gray that's called for, so I'm using a Victorian Motto. And this is on an 18 count B Stitch Me. I don't know what the colorway is. I think it's just a mystery. And that's what I have so far. So I'm gonna do this one as another like coloring project where I um, do all of the outlining and then I color in with the other flosses. It's fun like that. And this one is in a pouch. I sewed with some cute Route 66 fabric. Alrighty, next up. Um, this lives in a bag that I bought on Etsy as a cosmetic bag. It's Liberty of London fabric. Um, this holds You Are So Loved, and I started this on September 18th. This is another Cherry Hill stitchery chart. I'm stitching this for my best friend, who is the counselor at our school, and she always says on our praise videos, You Are Loved. So I'm stitching this for her. This is on 18 count Ada in Colonial from Victoria Motto, and I did color converting on it to some of more of her type colors. So this is Pickle, is the green, Week Styleworks Romance. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a tickle in my throat. Ash Plum from Color and Cotton. And 1940s Aqua from Victoria Motto. Yep, need to get some more work on that. In fact, I may work on that today some. I would like to have that for her um, when we return back to school on the 4th. Lee Chelsea. This is an I Love You More Studio Co. sleeve from this fall. I love the critters. This one holds a start that I did on September 19th. This is Tiny Modernist Folk Art Sampler. I am doing a Pippi Longstocking conversion and changing her hair to red or reddish ginger tones. Um, this was a Nashville release. This is on a 16 count mystery from Mystic Fabrics. Yes. And I don't have much. I have part of her dress in really bright colors. It's going to be cute though. So, I need some more time in that. Have I said that enough yet? All right, on the 20th, I started a project that's in this Love You More Studio Girl. I love this pouch so much. It's so good. And this is Barbara Anna Designs Winter Woodland Keeper. And this was from the 2017 Christmas Winter Issue. She's awesome. She's a fox with antlers. Like, dude, in a dress. Love it. Love it, love it. And this is on um, 25 count. Oh, yeah, I am doing this over one. I couldn't remember where I was doing this. This is on 25 count Lugana in... Sometimes I will stick it to the back of the chart. Sometimes I won't. This is, I think, one of those times I... Oh, it did. Antique White Lugana, 25 count, and I'm stitching it over one. So I have actually quite a bit more done than I thought. I have, um, like, this is one half of her dress and then part of the bodice because her dress is in two colors of blue. So that's that half. Oh, I have more than I thought I did. I thought I was going to be at the pitiful thing. Although I will tell you, I really want to start Park Hopper Bart to put out a chart. I saw this um, on Kia B. And she started for 24 hours of cross stitch back in like November. One that he had designed that 50 stitches a new start doth make. Heck, one stitch a new start doth make. Okay, moving on. September 21st, I started Marion Jesus Stained Glass, which is from the 2019 Christmas Ornament Issue of Just Cross Stitch. This is by Snowflake Stitchery. Um, I am not stitching it on the wood. I am stitching just the Mary and the Baby Jesus. So I basically have left one line of the black stitching all the way around. And I'm stitching this on some more of that slate, Ada. And that's what I have so far. I just need to get some more time in this. In fact, this counts as a full coverage. And so I will um, possibly use this for January bingo because it counts as there's two people. That was one of the prompts. All right, next up, oh, this was a big one that I love. 
This is Snow Queen by Mirabilia. I started this on the 22nd along with Erin T. Martini Stitcher. She started her first Mira. This was my second Mira. So for those who don't know, this is Snow Queen. I actually won this from Brandy at Be Stitch Me along with the uh, Krynik and all the beads. She did me a custom cut of her colorway Frost. It's massive. It's 32 count Lugana. Let me find where I am. And I have a fairly decent start on her. She's beautiful. She's going to be a lot of work, but she's beautiful. I love it. Yay. And I'm loving her on this color. Yay. My new year new start is maybe going to be Stargazer if it gets here. And that has nothing to do with who it's shipping from because it's coming from Brandy at Bee Stitch Me. It has a lot more to do with the fact that it shipped, but is it going to make it? We'll see. Hopefully. Um, if not, I'll start it shortly after the new year. Um, and I'm doing a color conversion on it. So next up, I started this on the 22nd. This is in a pouch with some fun princess fabric. This is one for a uh, joyful little one. This is Sleeping Beauty Castle Blackwork from Retro Rose 98 on Etsy. I have this going on a piece of 28 count Monaco. It is still very stiff. Um, I like the black work on the Monaco, not gonna lie, or a very stiff Ada. Um, and that's what I have so far. Not much. I haven't pulled this out in a while. But I like the black work. It kind of breaks up sometimes just the doing the X's. Just something different. Alright, next up. This I started on the 24th of September. This is Vulture Villa. I had done Hedgehog House and finished it from Lindy Stitches. That was in Punch Needle Primitive Stitcher. This was a series she did. I'm going to do all of them in the series. I just am not necessarily doing them in order because I have Eagle Manor kitted. I just haven't started it yet. Um, I wanted to start this one and then the Polar Bear Adobe. Polar Bear Adobe. Abode. Not Adobe. Abode will be one I also do. This was Vulture Villa. Well, I don't do really Halloween and vultures creep me back out. So I changed it to, I was like, that kind of looks like a townhouse. So I'm doing Turkey Townhouse. And Turkey Townhouse, is this Turkey Townhouse? Yes, this is Turkey Townhouse. Is on a 25 count, 25 count, 25 count. Where's my color key? Is that it? Yeah, no, that's wrong. That was for Hedgehog House. I think this is 25 count Ash Rose Lugana. And I'm stitching it over two. So I have part of my turkey. So I took the turkey from Gobble Gob and put it on top of the mailbox. I did have to do a little recharting to make it work, but he's going to be sitting on top of the mailbox next to his townhouse. So we've got Turkey Townhouse. And I figured since I already had, and that may be how I don't end up finishing Gobble Gob, is that Turkey Townhouse is the replacement. It'd be okay. It wouldn't be the end of the world. Okay, next up. <sighs> Are we tired yet? I'm tired. <laughs> I started all these. <laughs> I did this to myself. All right, so I started this on September 25th, 2020. This is the Merry Christmas ornament from My Big Toe Designs. This was in the 2020 Christmas ornament issue. I do the digital copy. And this is in another one of those really fun uh, bendy flips from Bags Plus. This one is a metallic plaid. Hello. Love it. And this is on either 20 or 18 count. Let's see. Did I write it down? Of course I didn't. Um, 20 count or 18 count vintage country mocha. And I did another conversion. Instead of Merry Christmas, it's going to say Joy-Filled Christmas. Yay! 
So yeah, this is not a very big piece. I am stitching it in the called four or close because I think I had just about everything. Um, that was like one day of stitching. I mean, there was charting involved, but it's really pretty jewel tony colors. All right, then I started on the 26th. This is another one that's on Slate. This was the July 2020 Patreon exclusive from Ink Circles called She Riken. And uh, you can pick your own colors. I did pick my own colors. What's cool is she released this one as a Pattern Keeper file. And I subsequently moved it over to Pattern Keeper. And I am doing another one of these. Stitch it and fill it in. This is 16 counts late from Hand Dyed by Stephanie. So yeah. Um... What's cool about the Pattern Keeper is she realized that, you know, you can assign the symbols to be any color, so you can actually use it to kind of look at and see, okay, what do I want it to look like in the long run, in the end? So I think that's really neat. All right, so next up on the 27th, as you can see, I started something pretty much every single day. Some days more than one. 27th, I started Noel Pillow from Modern Folk Embroidery. This is on 18 count rosé. Ada, whoa, I'm losing stuff. Hold on just a second. Uh. Yeah, 18 count rosé from Keller and Cotton. And I'm stitching it with Carmine from Keller and Cotton. Beautiful red, rosy red. Kind of like 309 maybe. And that's where I am. Love this one. Love the monochrome. And I think maybe these patterns work in Pattern Keeper. I don't know. I need to try it out and see. Or if you know, let me know. Because that would be helpful on some of these monochromes. All right. On the 28th, I started Hello Dear. And you've seen this one a lot. This is a kit from Caterpillar Cross Stitch. It was a stitch along. I was gifted this kit from Sally at Caterpillar Cross Stitch. Um... And I changed up from the even weave to a 32 count Lugana in splash powder pink with white dots. And that's what I have so far. Super fun. And I changed it up to the 32 count because that is what I'm doing Hello Pumpkin on. And I want them to be the same size so that I could maybe swap them out in the same finish. This is um, one called Paper Flakes from Love You More Studio Co. So this is a full size. As you can see, it fits the full chart with only a tiny bit sticking out the top. All right, then on the 29th, I started one that lives in my Spelunking Squirrel pouch from Love You More Studio Co. And this is the Trick or Treat Cat, which was from the fall issue of Punch Needle Primitive Stitcher Magazine from Barbara Anna Designs. <laughs> Are we seeing a theme in the types of charts I love? Barana! So fun. Now, I am not, again, I'm not a huge Halloween stitcher. I don't really decorate. I decorate more fall. But she's too fantastic. So I'm going to stitch the pumpkins just without the faces. And then I'm going to leave off trick or treat. Everything else I'm going to do the same because I love that these flowers look like candy corns. And I love the little quilt Ohio star type motifs. So I think that she can totally be a fall cat just without the, the jack-o'-lantern faces and trick-or-treat, plus less stitching. Win-win. All right, and then we are into almost. This was September 30th. I started one that lives in this small Garon pouch with the watermelons inside. This holds geometric rainbow from Fuzzy Fox Designs. Super fun. I'm doing it pretty close to the called for. I did, I think, brighten them up just to scotch on some of them. So there's like my colors. There's some more colors. And this is on just like a random cut of neutral Ada that I have. Actually, you know what? I think this might be some of Heartland. 18 count Heartland. Um, and that's what I have so far. I'm working on the second bow. And I like that it's got like the cream, except I'm not doing cream. I'm doing more white instead of cream. I think I'm using 
I'm not sure. But I love that it's like little tassels down here. I think that's really a neat touch. So, super cute. Rachel, who is the designer for Fuzzy Fox, she has some of the cutest ideas. All right, um, the rest of my projects are too far away for me to reach, so I'm gonna pause and do another clip. So hang tight with me for one more, one more little interlude, intermission. Alrighty, it took a minute to clean up because I was about to have an avalanche on one side. I have the hiccups. <laughs> I think they might be gone. We'll see. So now we're into October. We're in the home stretch, folks. We are in the home stretch. I have no clue how long this video is going to be. It is what it is. Take a break. Have a snack. I'm going to have to have lunch if this goes too much longer. All right. So then this is a Garon tote bag with cute little funny looking dogs. And this holds a start from October the 1st. This is from Thimble Blossoms, and this is Stitchville. And there's actually a number of these, I think. There's Stitchville, and then there's ones, I think they were based off of quilt patterns, and so I think there's seasonal ones as well. Um, that I don't know. This is on 32 count white Lugana, two over two, and I have some of the center star. Alrighty, Let's see what else we got. All right, another small gear on bag. This one holds a start from October the 2nd. This is Souvenirs of the Heart, Autumn and Amana by Brenda Gervais. Um, I am using Deanna's conversion that she shared with me. The exception being I did not have the Valdani. I could not find the Valdani. There was a Valdani. There was something else. So I'm using a color and cotton for that. And this is on a Be Stitch Me. Be Stitch Me Wet. Because that is not the fabric. There's just, there's a tag on there. That's not right. Because it's not on 28 count mushroom Lugana. This is a Be Stitch Me fabric. I think this might be. I don't know. But this is color and cotton fall spice. Hold on one second. Sorry, I needed to take that because for posterity's sake, I will share. I'm going in the next three hours to get my COVID vaccine. Woohoo. All right. So this is a Bee Stitch Me 18 count Ada. And this is um, Fall Spice is the color I'm working with on the house, which is a color in cotton, which is beautiful. And I love it in this bag. It's got kind of like a foil detailing. All right. Next up, we have one. I don't remember where I got this book sleeve it is not lovey more it's from a shop on etsy i think and this is an ink circles arranging the sewing kit and i have this going on what is this let's see there's tag in here 18 count ada in aged paper from color and cotton and I have quite a bit done. Again, this is another one that I'm doing the outlining and then we'll fill in the colors. And this is a beautiful piece of fabric. Beautiful piece of fabric. All right, next up, I started this one on the 4th of October. This is from Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. And this is their Cozy Gingerbread Snow Globe. So cute. I love the little pink tree. This is on 28 count even weave from Garibaldi's in Sweet Raisins. And this was a gift to me from Jen Upton. So I have a bit at the gingerbread house. So it's very close to the called for and that's why I chose this. Although then I saw, I think I've saved it in my saved posts on Instagram. One that was done on a lighter fabric. I might stitch it again. Um, so this is a Love You More Studio Co pouch. I think it was called Monkey Business. Next up, we have one in a bag that I sewed. This is some fabric from Joann's, the cute little Nomies. Rolling with the Nomies. This is Luminous Fiber Arts Berry Buzz. This is one that is a Whipco piece and it's a January call. So I'm going to get to work on that this month. Oh, so is a Tree of Magic. 
I am stitching this on, what am I stitching this on? 18 count Ariel Ada from Picture This Plus in the called for. And actually this was my first time because it called for Weeks Dye Works Navy. And I went ahead and got the large spool of the two stranded. So I'm, it's my first time using it and so far I really like it. Um, so yeah, and now I'll have a very large spool. And I got that from Garon Stitchery. I don't know where else you can get those as of right now. Um, but again, I bought that quite a while ago. Next up, this is a pouch that I purchased from um, Liz at Bent Needle Makes. She was de-stashing some of her pouches. And I got this one to hold. Well, not specifically to hold this chart, but just to hold a chart. This is Fuzzy Fox Designs Nativity Biscornu. So it's actually stitched on a blue and a green fabric. And I had in my stash a blue lakeside linens in 32 count and a green lakeside linens in 32 count. So all I have done is the border of the green side. That's all she wrote. And just the called for DMC or close. Alrighty, next up, this is a Fat Cat Flossing Bag by Leslie Hurley. I love it's the cute little pumpkin guy on the front. And this is holding Hands On Designs, Banner Year, Ghosties, and Gourds. I'm calling it Gourds and Joy because I am stitching Joy in the middle ones. And instead of the ghost, I think I'm putting in a white pumpkin. I recharted it with that. And this is on, I'm using the uh, Color and Cotton color pack. And this is on 14 count, yes, yes, 14 count Picture This Plus in Kermit, which is the called for colorway. Not the called for count, um, it's actually brighter than that. It's just my, my camera's wanting to actually not make it as bright as it is. So yeah gonna be bigger but that's okay um this was the count I could find readily available Kermit was hard to find and um unfortunately picture this plus I think is behind on dying lots of things um just because they you know stitchers want to be stitching all the things all right next step I started this on the sixth this is let me find it it's way down here somewhere it's one of the little prairie schooler mini cards the little stitch cards Oh my stars, here it is. And this is, I'm calling it um, Prairie Schooler Peace Angel. And this is on an 18 count to be Stitch Me Mystery cut. And I just pulled flosses from my stash. So that's the size of it, it's gonna be quite small. So yep. And I have two others in here that are that will get started when this one is finished. All right, on the sixth, I also started from Ink Circles. I love Ink Circles; they're so good. Village Square. This is Village Square, and this is on eighteen count toast from Be Stitch Me, and I am using Threadworks. Well, it was actually Needle Needs uh, 135, but it's Threadworks. Did I write it down anywhere? And I apologize, it's not on Bee Stitch Me. I changed the colorway that I thought I was going to use. I had it written down as toast, but I ended up moving it over to, sorry, 18 Count Spice from Color and Cotton. And then I'm using this. It was a Needles Necessities, which is Threadworks. I don't have the colorway. But if you search Needle Needs 135, it will give you what the conversion is to Threadworks. But it's this really pretty blues and greens combo. And I love this piece of fabric. I've had it from a D stash for quite some time and never had anything to stitch. And so this seemed like a good project. Next step, I started this on October 7th. This is another modern folk embroidery. This is... I think it's called Comfort and Joy. 
So Tidings of Comfort and Joy. I am stitching this on 27 count Linda from Be Stitch Me in Dirty Chalkboard with Keller and Cotton Tusk, which is a really pretty um, white with kind of some peaky, pinky peach undertones. And I have very little starter on this. I love this dirty chalkboard in the 27 count. And that's what I have so far. I do, I, that might actually be the entire top border. It might be. It might also not be. I would know if I had my iPad open and was looking right at what I have highlighted. Alrighty. That's another bin, another bin down. All right, so next up, in this gigantic project bag. We are narrowing in on the end of my starts in October. In this big gigantic bag, I have one that I don't know I will be continuing with. Heartstring Samplers Consider the Lilies. Pull colors from Stash. As you can see, it's a massive quantity of floss. This is on 20 count aged paper from Color and Cotton, and that is what I have. One strand over one square. It's a beautiful piece of fabric. It's a huge piece of fabric. So I don't know. I it's It's been sitting, thinking about if I'm gonna continue on or not. Like I said, when I was talking about um, land that I love, not a big sampler stitcher. I've come to find that out, and as beautiful as that is, that's a lot of fabric and a lot of floss. So we'll see. I'm maybe going to get out of order at this point. Um, so I started this on October the 8th. This is Whaley Love Winter, which is from Ardith Designs. And this was in the uh, Just Cross Stitch Christmas Ornament 2020 issue. It says Joy. Um, and I love it. It's so cute. And I am stitching this on 16 count Stellar Ada from Picture This Plus. That is a light blue. And I am stitching it with the called for Sulkies. Super fun colors. Lots of Sulkies to add to my collection. And uh, there's one DMC. DMC 310 is used for back stitch. So, love it. So good. Alrighty. Next up, I started this um, on October the 9th with one of my stitchy besties, uh, Steph, of Pam and Steph Just Keep Stitching. This is in a Diana bag, love it. And this is a chart that we decided to hashtag besties bunny sow. And this is from Hands to Work Revisited. And this is Return the Kindness. I did a color conversion to colors from my stash. So lots of pretty autumnal looking colors. And this is on Sampler Gold 18 Count Ada from Color and Cotton. So that's what I have so far. So I have three of the borders and some of the letters. Now, I will say I overcounted by a couple of stitches on the two long borders, but that's okay. It will be all right. I was not going back and pulling out two or three stitches because at that point I'd already cut the strings off. It would have meant trying to try to tack it down. Oh, yeah, no. And this is a very crinkly bag that this pattern is in. <laughs> but crinkle, 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 crinkle. All righty, next up on the 10th, I think I'm still in order. This is in a bag I sewed using Helen D's tutorial. This is Tula Pink fabric, and this is some Rifle Paper Company fabric. And this holds Autumn Tree by Hello from Liz Matthews. And I am stitching this on Color and Cotton 18 Count River Rock with Classic Colorworks Belle Soie in Harvest. It's a beautiful variegated, mildly variegated brown. And I have a start on the top with the sailboat. So, it's going to be pretty, I think. Love the bell swap. It's like butter. Like butter. 
as she says, like butter. Alrighty, next up. Oh, we might be going out of order, but maybe not. Okay, on the 11th, I started these 12 Days of Christmas ornaments. So these came from Cross Stitch and Needlework magazine. I was sent the first set of charts in a package from Patience. And I asked her, I reached out to her and I said, I love these. Do you have the rest? And she said, no, I don't. So I tracked down the rest of the magazines. It was over three different issues. And what I love the most about these is that, I'm gonna look and see if they have any that show. On the back, it has like the 10 commandments, 11 disciples, 12 day, uh, 12 points of Apostles' Creed, Holy Spirit's fruits. So they have on the back what they are for, um, what they stand for. And these were designed by Kathy Haberman and Teresa Curry of Cherrywood Design Studios. And they were from the November, I think it was January 2012 issue, the November 2012 issue, and the September, oh, no, sorry. My bad. September, November 2011 issues and the January 2012 issues of Cross Stitch and Needlework. And I found one of the issues from like an LNS that had it and I thought I wasn't even going to get it. And then the other ones I found is a group on eBay. And I'm stitching these on 20 count Artemis from Be Stitch Me. And I have the beginnings of the very first one. And that's it. And I had talked about how I had ordered some more 20 count because I was not going to have enough of this fabric to do the fronts and backs. And as you can see, they came in and they're different. Um, and that's just hand dyed fabric. Not, no big deal. So I'm going to do all the fronts on the darker one and all the backs on the lighter one. And I pulled colors from Stash. So there's that. Oh goodness, we're definitely going to be getting out of order if I don't be if I'm not careful. All right, then I started Beautiful Things by Lindy Stitches on the 12th, I believe. And so this is Oh My Darling, It's True, Beautiful Things Have Dents and Scratches too. This is on Color and Cotton July 2020 Fabric Club Pearwood. It's 18 count. Um, I am stitching this with the called for. And I have that first big flower. And I have my little house on the prairie needle minder by Mad for Minders. So, yep. Yeah. This reminds me a lot of earthen, but I love color and cottons. Uh, whatever their dyeing process is leaves the fabric still having some stiffness to it, and I like that. Um, and the holes are still very much defined. I can't say the same for Picture This Plus. All right, I started this, I don't remember what day, and I don't have my tag. Do I have my tag? It was at some point in that, before the 13th of October. This is Silver Creek Samplers, Johnny Appleseed. I love this. I am stitching this for my daughter's second grade teacher. She's in third now. They sang this every day before lunch last year. And this is on 18 Count Ada in Colonnade from um, Color and Cotton. And I swapped out the colors in favor of brighter red and a turquoisey color because that's her favorite. So I did a little color swapping. This is an Olivia Moore Studio Co sleeve. All right, next up, I started another Pineberry Lane. This is one I purchased off their website as a PDF. I believe I started this one on the 12th of October. This is in full bloom. And full bloom. And this, I think, is on 18 count B Stitch Me Toast. This is in a um, Bags Plus Bendy Flip with some Tula Pink fabric. These are my colors, so really pretty colors. And um, my needle minder is from Nevermore Notions, I think. It's um, the same person that I buy my Progress Keepers, Charmed and Dangerous. She has another shop where she sells needle minders that are clay. And so I think that's so cute and it goes along with the theme. I have, I don't even have 50 stitches in this, I would say, but I 
I have her little bun, her face, her eyes, and her hands. So I need to put some more time in this, but it's super cute anyway. Alrighty. We're getting close. I could feel it. I could feel the end of this. We're getting close. Okay. I did start another Pineberry Lane. This was on the 13th, my birthday. I think it's so cute. This is hurrah. There's two colorways. This is the one that I'm doing, the colorway I chose. There's another one that's just some mixed up colors. Um, same color palette, but just in different spots. This is on 28 count. No, excuse me. 20, 20 count Ada. That's where I'm getting the 28 from. From Be Stitch Me and Through the Stones. And I have her face, some of the back stitching, and the flag. And I pulled colors from Stash. I did have some of them, but I pulled some from Stash. All right, next up, I started Little House Needleworks Inspirational Scriptures. I have already stitched this one, so I am stitching them separately. Um, I think I started with this one. I think I started with that one. And these are on, what are these on? 20 Count Outback Jack. This is the first one I did. All things are possible to him who believes. And then this is the beginnings. Yeah, of the faith one. So it's kind of hard to see that, but it shows up better in real life. This is 20 count Outback, Outback Jack, if I did not say that. Can you tell I'm starting, my nerves are starting to make me a little more frazzled? A little bit. All right, I started this one. Um, I think I started this live with y'all on my birthday, those of you that were able to join me. This is Heartstring Samplery, What a Time to Be Alive. This is an Acorns and Threads exclusive. I am stitching this one on... Let me find the tag. 28 Count Lugana from Dying for Cross Stitch. It's not a named fabric. It's beautiful. So that's what I have so far. I am going for the kind of very tonal monochrome-ish. And my uh, silver that I'm using or my gray that I'm using is uh, Silver Linings from Victorian Motto. I do not have much. I have not put anything in this since. I stitched it with y'all. And this is a pouch that I did. It used to fit my old iPad. I forgot to put the chart back in the one before. Okay. One more from October. So this was um, my last birthday start. I did four birthday starts. And this is from Lindy Stitches. This is Autumn Royalty. I bought the kit that came with the 805 stitcher bag, it came with the chart, it came with the fancy flosses, and it came with the um, licorice rickrack to finish. I am stitching this on 18 Count Canyon from Color and Cotton, two over one, and Neil Minder is mad for minders. So I have Lord. I started with uh, Lord of the Gourds first. Alrighty, that was all the Octobers. So I had one November start, just one. And this is in a stitch toolbox bag, final front, with the super cute pumpkin print on the back. It kind of looks like that other pumpkin one, but more fall and not Halloween-ish. And this holds Quaker Pumpkins by Hello from Liz Matthews. Um, I had to wait to start this because I was waiting on the fabric. Um, it is it is the called for fabric from Color and Cotton. It's Boardwalk. I did it in my preferred 20 count Ada. I'm stitching it in the called for Weeks Dye Works. I am adding in a couple of other details to make it more fall. And I've also recharted it to say in everything give thanks instead of um, All Hallows Eve. And I have a bit of a top left start. And I have my needle minder that came from the fall into stitching box. It says sweater weather. That was from Black Needle Society. All right, so that was the one and only November start. And I started that um, on 
November the 28th. Now I have a few December starts. So the first one is the Pine Needle Stitch Along. This was the first five days. I'm stitching some of them. This is an I Love You More um, Studio Co. This is Hark, I think is what this one is called with the angels. And this is on 18 Count Stratus from Color and Cotton. I am stitching them as individual ornaments. So I have one border and a part of another border. Not much, more than the last time I showed it. I started that I think on the 7th. Then on the 21st, for uh, first day of winter, I started Hello Winter from Stitching with the Housewives. It's in my Stitching with the Housewives project bag. And this one is on, I think this is a 16 count mystery from Color and Cotton. And I might be swapping it out because I don't super I mean the white pops but we're, I'm gonna have to wait and see and I am going to change up the colors on the house also in this bag is one I started on the 22nd so I will show that as well and that is winter joy with the cardinal and this one is on a piece of 16 count uh, chalkboard is it chalkboard I think so chalkboard Ada so I've been on that too I love how the white pops on that. I am just doing uh, 3865, I believe, is my white. Okie dokie. So then I have actually three projects living in this one. This was a Love You More Studio Co. from this year. They might still have it. I love how it looks like all the snowflakes. I had three starts in here. The first, on the 21st, I started Autumn Lane Stitchery's Mrs. Claus. She is on 16 count soft apricot from Color and Cotton. I've not put any more in since I showed it on one of my daily videos. Uh, did I show it on my daily? I think I showed it on a Friday video, maybe. I'm not sure. Okay, and then I started on the 22nd. Let me find the paper. I started Frosty. This was from the August 2020 issue of Just Cross Stitch Magazine. And he is on this, I think it's an 18 count, might be 16. It's a mystery mint color from Color and Cotton. It was from my grab bag I just got. And then on the 23rd, I started Santa. And he is from the Christmas ornament issue, 2020. And he is on this mystery kind of lavenderish color. Oops, that's upside down. Goes like that. So that's part of his hat. So all three of those live in this one bag and it's okay because they're all same designer. I, I wanted them all started. So I started them all. And yes, a new start can be just a few stitches in my opinion. I know that for no new starts, you had to have 200. I'm not playing that game. Not this year. All right, next up, this is a Stitching the High Notes bag from Joanna. And this holds something you have not seen yet started because I started this on Christmas Eve. And this is Celtic Christmas. It's by Lavender and Lace. I have this going on 28 Count Lugana in Icon from Picture This Plus. I have a little bit of a start. Not much, but a little bit. I'm not sure where my uh, cardinal needle minder is from, but that's what I have so far. Not much, just a bit of the back of her skirt. I had it on too big of a um, fabric holding device. Poop, that's the word I'm looking for. And um, so I need to bring it down a little bit. It wasn't getting my fabric tight enough for me because that's real loose. Um, so anywho, and then on Christmas day, I started Christmas tree from Barbara Anna Designs, kitted by Nick Moscow. I am uh, selling this with Aaron Two Martini Stitcher and a bunch of other folks. We are using hashtag Christmas tree of magic sal. And this is the kit, kit Lugana. It's 25 count. It's over two, two strands over two is how I'm stitching it. And I got a fairly decent start. It's gonna be so cute. 
Oh my gosh, it's going to be so cute. And this one is an Olivia more with these fun bright trees. Pastelli trees. All right, last but not least, this I started on the 28th. This is the Peppermint Purple Year of Blackwork Sal. This was the 2020 version. All of it is currently currently out. I have this going on an 18 count Ada from Picture This Plus. I am doing white for my borders. Uh, I think it's B5200 and then I'm doing 13 different colors. And so this is what I have so far. And as you can see, I've started in on my lacy border and I have the outline of my first row. So yeah, there we go. And I'm doing one strand for the back stitch. I tried two and it was too much. So I went with one. So I saw the whips. Until next year, which hopefully there will be less. I am going to try to finish far more things than I start this next year. Um, I was watching Teresa Kitten Stitcher, one of her videos from the beginning of December, and she talked about how she wants to find balance. And I think that that is something that I felt very out of, was out of balance this year. So I'm hoping that 2021 can be a year with more balance. I have still not come up with my word. I love the word intentional. Um, but I'm not sure. Um, my word of 2020 fit very well as the year went on. So with that, I'm going to bid you a wonderful day until tomorrow. Um, I will check in tomorrow. I will show you, I think I'm going to show you if I have it, my new year, new, my new year projects, um, that are coming up. I have two series I'm starting throughout the year. I'm going to show you those and, um, I'll open some yarn because I still have some of that advent to open. And just check in with y'all before we head over to the American Girl store tomorrow. So I am going to be off to get my first of my COVID shots. So wish me luck. Um, I am very blessed that I am in, I guess that you could call it a blessing. Um, I am high up in the priority list. Um, thanks. Pre-existing conditions. And uh, because I'm a teacher. So with that, I will bid you a wonderful rest of the day. I hope you have a fantastic Wednesday, what remains of it, wherever you are in the world. And um, I hope you enjoyed seeing all of my projects over the last two days. Um, leave me some thoughts on anything. Um, what's your favorite project? Because <laughs> I couldn't tell you that. Um, with that, I will leave you with a so long, stitch well. I'll see you soon, my friends. Goodbye. <gasps> I forgot a hug. We're going to do a hug. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And one for yourself. And now I'll say goodbye until tomorrow.